Next month, I'm going to the Tulip Field Station on the tundra on the north slope of Alaska with the Polar Trek Program. I'll be working with Dr. George Kling from the University of Michigan and Dr. Rose Corey from the University of North Carolina. I'm making this video to explain a little bit about what their work is about, and I'll be making more as I learn more. You see, what's going on right now on the tundra is that it's melting. Take a look at these videos. So why is this important? Because there's a huge amount of carbon locked up in the Earth's permafrost. You can see this in the permafrost tunnel outside of Fairbanks, Alaska. If you look up at the ceiling, what you see are the roots of dead plants. And these plants are 14,000 years old. So they show that there's a huge accumulation of dead plant material in the permafrost, which represents a lot of carbon. And if you look at this map, you'll see that a large portion of the Earth's surface is covered with permafrost. Russia, and Canada, and Alaska, it can be over a kilometer deep in some places. So the Arctic permafrost represents a giant pool of carbon that's been locked up for a long time. And the big question now is what's going to happen to that carbon as the Earth's climate warms? If you look at this animation from NASA showing climate change on Earth from 1950 to 2012, you can see that the greatest temperature increases shown in orange and red have been in the Arctic. So as the Arctic warms, this permafrost is going to melt, and that could potentially release huge amounts of carbon to the Earth's atmosphere, which could impact climate change and make it worse. So next month, I'll be going to the Tulip Field Station to work with Dr. Kling and Dr. Corey to figure out the effect of sunlight and bacterial action on this newly released carbon from melting permafrost. I'll be posting more videos as I learn more, so stay tuned.